to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jonathan Rowley. Um, I've been, my background is in architecture, um, but I've been involved in 3D printing and AM for about 10 years now. Um, and I used to run an industrial 3D printing bureau in London, uh, where I had the privilege of working with uh, an array of really brilliant designers who were starting to apply 3D printing and additive manufacturing into their work. And that dialogue that I was able to have with designers really meant that uh, they learnt a lot, I learnt a lot, and the technology started to look better. And there are several people who are presenting today whose I first encountered in that kind of incarnation. Today, I'm just involved in education around SLS and do consulting work on SLS, which is that particular technology. Um, a little bit about the DFAM network. This is about 18 months old, if I'm correct. Um, an EPSRC-funded project, um, which is trying to draw together um, design for AM expertise across the UK. Um, and you know, for me personally, it's been a really interesting project and made me aware of, you know, the, the scope and the range and the level of expertise that exists within this country um, around the subject of designing for AM. And in my view, AM and 3D printing is nothing without the design. The technology does nothing without the quality of the object that you feed it. If you give a 3D printer something mediocre, the best you'll get is something mediocre back. So the design is fundamental. Um, and I'm, I'm involved in the network. I'm, I was you know, invited to be on the steering committee, which is in a very interesting activity. And you know, in the early days of the network, um, there were discussions about the key research themes that, that the network would investigate. And one of the subjects that came up were 3D printed textiles. Um, and so this gathering has been mooted for you know, probably about 12 months, um, but it kept on being put back because we were really adamant that this event had to be in person. When you're dealing with 3D printed textiles, um, it is imperative that you actually get to handle the object. It's no good just seeing them on a screen. You have to be able to, to evaluate them in your hand, how they feel, how they behave, in order for you to work out where it's at and are they any good. So that it was the prerequisite for everybody presenting today is that they had to have something to show. Um, and what we really want you to do here today is to take a look at it. Nobody here is telling you that what they're showing you is finished or commercially ready to go. But I think all of them have got something going for them that's worth pursuing. And we want you to handle them in this state um, and apply your own expertise and tell the designers and us as a group what you think of it and where you think it needs to, to get better and to improve. Um, and you know, all of the people showing today are designers. You know, they're not shape makers. They understand the technology, they understand its potential, and they understand its limitations, and they design with and around that understanding to make things that really start to work. Um, and we hope that some of you might be inspired by some of what you see to start thinking about bringing some of this technology into what you do. And, you know, the presenters here today are people who are happy to collaborate, to discuss, to work together. And there are also people in this room who can start, who have the expertise to start working together. So it's all about using the fantastic opportunity we have as an in-person event to get to know and understand everybody in this room um, and all apply our sensitivity and understanding to what, what we're holding in our hands. Um, and I think, you know, for me, the litmus test of any good 3D printed project is that you, you remain quiet about 3D printing and AM. You produce whatever you're producing, you take that to somebody, you know, within the field that you respect, and you ask them to, you place it in their hand and you don't say anything. And what you're looking for is a response that says, blimey, 
That's incredible. How did you make that? And then you talk about the technology. The technology is always the second part of the conversation. It's not, look at this amazing 3D printed whatever. It's quiet, what do you think of this? And if it's successful, you'll get a positive reaction and then you can start talking about that. And what we hope today is that we'll hear a few blimeys coming from you lot when you pick these things up and handle them. Um, so just a little overview of what's happening during the day. We're now into it. Um, following on from me, uh, Alan and Patrick from the network are just going to stand up and say a few words about the network. Um, Richard and Stephen Morris from the KTN will stand up and make themselves known. They are people who are available to talk to today about uh, you know, getting projects going, about collaborating. Um, and then we get into the presentations. We're doing a block of three of those to start with. Then we're having a little break for you to go out and hold what you've been shown on screen. Then we move into the second six projects after that. After that, we have our lunch break. Um, if you haven't been up to have a look at it already, uh, you know, MMU have very, very kindly allowed us access to their digital artifact 3D printed collection, which is in the glass box at the top of the space. And I urge everybody to take the opportunity to go and have a look at the objects there. Um, and then over lunch, the second Print City tour takes place. So those of you who booked for that will go off to that. After that, we're going to break up into smaller groups on the tables outside. And we want, and on each table, we will be one of the designers or organizers who is there to kind of prompt a conversation about what you think about what you've seen. And we're going to do two of those sessions around a tea break. And then to kind of round things off, we've got the designer Travis Fitch joining us from Teams uh, from New York. Um, and you must go up to the Digital Artifact exhibition because we've got some of his work up there as well. Uh, as I said, everybody who's talking about anything has to have something that you can hold. So please go and hold that and w see what you think about that before he comes on at four o'clock. Um, and then that will be, there'll be a short roundup and then you'll be free to disperse and you know, tell the world about the wonders that you've seen today. Um, and then the final Print City Tour will be taken over at the very end and Ed will be guiding you over there for the, for the last one of the day. So now, if we could just have Patrick to come up and give his little presentation about the network. If Alan could wave his hand, that's Alan Rennie, also involved in the DFM network, so you can talk to him during the day. Then we've got Stephen Morris from the KTN. Um, I must thank the, K the KTN and Richard Cooper from Made Sparta for, for helping to sponsor this event and get the word out. Richard, wave your hand. Again, someone to speak to over lunch at any other point. And so here's Patrick. Welcome to everybody today. My name is Patrick Pradell. I'm a lecturer at Loughborough Design School. Uh, <clears throat> I am the PI, uh, uh, along with uh, Professor Alan Rainey, uh, of the D4IM network, which is an EPSRC founded network that aims at collecting and connecting together all the people who are working within the UK on D4IM research, or they might benefit from D4IM research. And really, we try to connect all uh, industry, academia, research institutions within which share this interest in D4IM, in, in, in understanding how to design and how to capitalize on IM opportunities. We have roughly 400 subscribers to our email uh, uh, mailing list. We have uh, 692 uh, LinkedIn followers. We are continuously growing. Um, and we have also a directory, and I will show you a little bit more, and we have 68 members. And if you are interested in, in D4IM, if you have skill and expertise, or you want to promote yourself through the website, through our website, I will really welcome and invite you uh, to join our directory. And we have 55 academic institutions uh, from the UK, so we have a large uh, uh, a part of uh, academic institutions within the UK, which they are partners within the network. We have 60 international universities, 54 UK companies, and 13 research organizations. They've joined up, uh, uh, and four professional bodies as well. Um, that they are really 
uh, uh, join and connected. And we, our main activity is really, uh, one of our main activities is organizing events as the one uh, you are seeing today. And most of them until now, they have happened online. So this is our first in-person event that we are realizing today. We also have our Design for IM directory that you can see on the slides. Uh, and again, there is a QR code if you want to join and look into the directory. This is just some examples of the people and how the directory looks like. And you can join and you can uh, provide your profile uh, with your, your expertise and skills so the people can, uh, can look and see. We have also have a, a, a research bar so that people can search your uh, specific expertise within the, within the directory. Then we are organizing also a, a poster exhibition, a poster competition uh, targeted for students. Um, this is the second year that we are organizing this poster competition. Uh, previous years, the comp usually the competition is organized and run by PhD students. This year we have the fortune to have one PhD student from Imperial College, uh, Pia Pat, and one PhD student from Leeds University who are uh, leading, leading this poster competition. And really the aim of the poster competition is promote early career researchers, they are doing work, early work in D4AM. Uh, and if you have, and if you know anybody who might be interested in the poster competition, who they want to participate and submit something, we are really welcome submissions. Uh, the deadline for this year is gonna be the 15th of May, so it's actually approaching very quickly. Um, and the really broad theme, more general theme of the competition is computational tools in D4IM. But we are welcoming uh, a variety of themes and submissions. So please, if you're interested or if you know anybody who is interested and willing to provide a poster for the competition, we really welcome submissions. And the winners will be announced at a future event, at a future D4IM event which will happen in uh, uh, 2022. So, uh, as I told you before, we, are around, uh, array, we have organized roughly five events. This is the fifth event of the network. We have organized events on electronics, 3D printing electronics. We have organized events on D4IM for education. We have organized events on uh, computational design and on redistributed healthcare and, med and the de design of medical devices. Now, uh, these events that will be really, they were all run online and uh, we had a very, very great participation of people. Roughly each event we have 100 attendees coming from all over the world. Uh, and if you're interested to see the recordings of the events, we have all our recordings are within our website or also within our YouTube channel. These are just the future events that are coming up. So we are organizing, we are in the planning stage for other free events. They are coming together. And one will be focused on responsible design for IM. So looking more at the sustainability side of D4IM and how design can enhance sustainability within additive manufacturing. And then there will be other two events focused on materials. One more specifically on polymers and another one more, specific, uh, more specifically on general materials uh, uh, and metals. So this is what we will do in our, in the future, in the coming month, what will happen into the coming month. And then obviously if you're interested in what we are doing and you will want to know more about what our activities, uh, I will strongly suggest you to go and get in contact with us through our LinkedIn profile or our uh, website. We are really much open to collaboration. We are really much open to people who want to come us and we are really, really proactive and they want to uh, uh, do some events, organize some events. We can support them um, in organizing both online and in-person events, small and big events, use our social media to promote activities uh, that are the network and associations are doing. We are absolutely open and we are really, really keen to promote D4IM more widely within the UK and possibly internationally and to find uh, and connect people together to create and, and bring forward and develop uh, D4IM research more widely. Okay, so this takes me to the end of my presentation. It has been a pleasure to talk with you today and I hope you will enjoy the event. <laughs>